Hi, uh, this is Hauser Mag, and you're watching my channel, Cloud Busted. So I finally picked up a Losi MTXL. I wanted one of these things forever, but um, I don't know why I held off on buying it as long as I did. And anyway, it's like a week and a half before Christmas. I wasn't going to open this thing until Christmas Day, but uh, my buddy Max came along and opened it for me. Thanks, Max. No problem, Hauser Mag. Anything for you. Normally, I would do all my videos in my workshop, but this thing is just way too big to fit on my bench, so I had to do it in a different location. So now, to give you an idea how huge this thing is, let me show it to you next to a couple common household items. All right, here it is next to an associated RC-10T. There it is next to a Polaroid camera, a telephone, and a frying pan. So this truck's not cheap. And uh, shipped this thing cost me $1,299.99. And I think it's worth every penny. I can't think of anything better to spend that money on. So let's take a look at some of the features. Okay, first off. This is a gasoline engine, not a nitro, so it's a two-stroke motor, and you would uh, you put two-cycle oil premix like you would a dirt bike or a chainsaw or whatever, and uh, in the kit they give you a bottle, and uh, they they suggest mixing this thing 25 to one, so that's what I'm gonna mix it at, and uh, I'm probably gonna use something better, like. Uh, a Mo Tool or something, or a Bell Ray, like what I would use in one of my dirt bikes. But for now, for the break-in cycle, I'm going to use the oil they provide in the kit, which is just low C brand. I don't know what it what it really is, but uh, it comes with a hundred milliliter bottle, and they say eighty milliliters to a half a gallon. So I put the hundred milliliter bottle into a half a gallon just for the break-in, because I'd rather mix it rich. I'm breaking, that's what I do with my dirt bikes, and it's always worked well, so that's what I'll do with this thing. And then after, I'll just mix it exactly to 25 to 1, using a 93 octane. And in the manual, they suggest using 87 to 93. I'll use 93, and uh, who knows, maybe I'll put like Camp 2 down the road. We'll see. And uh, I'll play around and experiment with that, and I'll let you know the results. So um, for now, I'm going to mix it as recommended with the oil in the kit for the break-in. And the break-in they suggest um, like about half throttle for 25 minutes. I've heard of guys going like, you know, half hour, 15 minutes, let it cool down, all that. But I'm just going to follow what the manual says, which is uh, half a tank, roughly 25 minutes, a half throttle, and it should be fine. And uh, let's pop the body off, see what we got. Kinda of just looks like a big DBXL. It's got uh, twin servos though, that's nice. Aluminum servo horns. Um, huge tires. Fuel tank out front. Dynamite 29cc motor. And again, if you go on their website, you can get all the specs, so I'm not gonna bore you with that. Comes with a LiPo battery 2S. That's worth the steering and brake and throttle. And uh, yeah, it's just pretty plain under here, really just the DBXL. And this thing's built off the DBXL platform, and it's just like longer and wider. So, you know, everything looks good, high quality. Definitely, you know, probably going to do some upgrades, shock tower, some aluminum parts. Not too much aluminum, 
Because if you go crazy with aluminum, you end up breaking parts instead of like, you know, flexing like plastic does. So certain things will get upgraded. Definitely like shock towers. And uh, shocks are pretty good size. Kind of like the DBXL, but um, a little bit longer. So I'm pretty psyched. I wanted one of these for a long time. I finally got it. And I don't know why, again, I waited so long. It's got nice beadlock wheels. And again, I got another set of these wheels and tires I'm putting on my claw buster. So, um, let me see if I can zoom in on this here. It's got two brakes. So it's nice twin disc brakes. Should help it stop. I haven't run it yet. And, uh, it's getting pretty late. It's about, like, 9 o'clock, but... Luckily today it snowed, so I think I can break this thing in tonight and pass it off as a snowblower. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I mean, my neighbors kind of don't like me enough as it is, so why not? Spectrum DX2E radio. It's kind of cheap. I don't really like these Spectrums because um, my DBXLE, I ran into a problem with that thing. Behind my shop when I jumped it, there's some power lines. And anytime I get it close to those power lines... There's interference. So I'm probably definitely going to switch this out. I don't plan on jumping this truck though. Because um, I paid a lot of money for that DBXLE. And I, I jumped it. I couldn't resist. And it destroyed it. So you know, I, I know now the limitations of these big big heavy fist scales. And um, so I'll go pretty easy on this thing. It's awesome. I love it already. And I haven't even ran it yet. So pretty soon I'll do a running video of it. And show you guys what it's all about. But for now, take care. Good night. I hope you liked the video. And uh, like and subscribe. Take care. See you next time.